This episode of Phone Buff is brought to you by Squarespace. Click on the link below and use offer code BUFF to get 10% off at checkout. What's up guys, David here from Phone Buff and the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Apple iPhone 5S are two of the most popular smartphones out right now. So in this two part video series, we're gonna be comparing them, but we're not gonna be doing your typical comparison. And instead, like we've been doing since all the way back in 2012, we're gonna be doing it in the often imitated, but originally found here, phone buff style, where we look at a bunch of reasons why each of these smartphones could be considered better than the other. So that way, after watching both videos, you'll have a much better idea as to which phone is the best choice for you. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Reason number one. The Galaxy S5 screen is significantly larger than the iPhone 5S's, making everything from watching your favorite YouTube videos to browsing the web a bit more enjoyable and easier on the eyes. Two, the S5 screen also works with gloves, which can be a big advantage if you're somebody who lives in a colder climate. Three, another trick the S5's display has up its sleeve is air view, which gives you a preview of what your finger is hovering over without actually having to press it, making it especially useful for things like figuring out whose speed dial is whose in the dialer. 4. While the photo quality of the Galaxy S5 and the iPhone 5S are comparable, a big advantage the S5's camera has over the iPhones is its ability to record video in 4K, giving you 4 times the resolution and sharpness of the iPhone 5S's 1080p. Reason number 5. While recording video in 4K is awesome, it does create larger video files, so thankfully, Samsung equipped the Galaxy S5 with a USB 3.0 port, which allows for faster file transfer to a computer than the Lightning port does on the iPhone 5S. 6. Speaking of large files, the Galaxy S5 has a microSD card slot, allowing you to store up to an additional 128GB of 4K video or just about any other type of media you want via a relatively inexpensive microSD card. 7. Unlike the iPhone 5S, the Galaxy S5's battery is removable, meaning you can swap it out for a freshly charged spare or even get an extended battery if you so desire. 8. But there's a good chance you won't even need to do that, as the Galaxy S5's 2800mAh battery will keep you going for longer than the smaller 1440mAh battery found on the iPhone. 9. And as if those two previous points weren't enough, if you really needed to squeeze more life out of a single charge, the Galaxy S5 also has an ultra power saving mode that helps the battery last you for up to an additional 24 hours on just a 10% charge. Reason number 10. The stock keyboard on the Galaxy S5 has a dedicated number row while also having the option of long pressing for secondary symbols, but if the stock keyboard isn't for you, on the S5 you have the option to download third party keyboards so you won't be stuck with just the keyboard that the phone came with. 11. Just like you could download and install third party keyboards, on the Galaxy S5 you can also download third party launchers, allowing you to customize your home screen and apps to look just the way you like it and not the way some company thinks your phone should look. 12. On the topic of customization, the lock screen of the Galaxy S5 can be customized too with different unlock effects, different clocks, and even a wallpaper that automatically changes every few hours showing you different places all over the world. 13. The Galaxy S5 has NFC capabilities, meaning you can use your phone for things like making payments, tapping your phone to another compatible phone for easy file transfer, and maybe best of all, you can use NFC tags to help automate some of the things that you do on an everyday basis. 14. Unlike the iPhone 5S, the Galaxy S5 is IP67 certified, meaning it's both dust and water resistant, which can potentially help save your phone from damage due to the elements. Reason number 15. With private mode on the Galaxy S5, you can hide just about any file on your phone, like a picture or video for example, with it only being visible to you when the password protected private mode is enabled. 16. If you ever run into trouble, with the S5, you can triple tap the power button to automatically send a text to the people on your emergency contact list with your location, a picture from the front and rear cameras, and a short sound recording so that way the people who receive the message can get an idea of where you are and what's actually happening to you. 17. On the Galaxy S5, you can add widgets to the home screen so you can get the information you need right then and there on your home screen without actually having to open a full-blown app. 18. If you have a missed notification on the iPhone 5S, this is what you see when the screen is off. On the Galaxy S5 on the other hand, you get this blinking LED light letting you know of missed notifications without having to turn the screen on in order to check. 19. With the toolbox feature on the Galaxy S5, you can have a persistent floating menu on the screen wherever you go, giving you quick and easy access to up to 5 customizable apps, making multitasking between them a breeze. 
Reason number 20. Speaking of multitasking, on the Galaxy S5, you can take advantage of all that extra screen real estate with multi-window, which lets you use two apps on the screen at the same time for the ultimate multitasking experience. 21. While the App Store on the iPhone 5S has advantages of its own that you'll hear about in the other video, the Play Store on the Galaxy S5 has the advantage of offering a 15-minute return policy for paid apps, so that way you won't end up getting stuck paying for an app that doesn't really live up to the hype. 22. While the iPhone has always been known as one of the easiest smartphones to use, the Galaxy S5 with Easy Mode enabled takes Easy to a whole nother level with a super simplified interface and extra large text that may be a better choice for those of us who aren't as tech savvy. 23. On the back of the Galaxy S5, you have a built-in heart rate monitor that comes along with Samsung's S Health app where you can not only measure your heart rate but also keep track of your diet and exercise all in one convenient place. 24. Unlike the iPhone 5S, the Galaxy S5 has an IR blaster which lets you use your phone as a remote control for things like your TV, sound system, Blu-ray player, and if compatible, even your air conditioner. Reason number 25. When you buy the Galaxy S5, you get over $500 worth of freebies or what Samsung likes to call Galaxy gifts, which includes things like 50 gigabytes of Dropbox, three months of LinkedIn Premium, $15 worth of in-game credits for Cut the Rope 2, and many other freebies and specials available exclusively to owners of the Galaxy S5. All right, that about does it for the Galaxy S5's version of this video. So if you haven't already, I'd also check out the iPhone 5S's version, which will be annotated somewhere here on the screen or linked for you down below in the description. But before I head out of here, I wanna give a huge shout out to Squarespace for making this video possible. Now, something you guys may not know about me is I've been building websites since I was just 13 years old. And in all of my years, Squarespace is the easiest and probably the fastest way that I've seen to get your own website started. They've got a bunch of beautifully designed templates to choose from that look great whether you're on a computer, a tablet, or a smartphone. They've got an awesome support team based out of New York City that is available to help you out 24 seven all day long. Pricing starts at just $8 a month and includes a free domain name if you sign up for a year. And maybe best of all, you can try it out for absolutely free, no credit card required. And because you're a viewer of the channel, you also get 10% off if you decide to buy when you use offer code buff at checkout. So click on that link down below in the description, set up that website that you've probably always wanted to start but never really got around to doing and also help support the channel in the process. All right guys, that's it for me in this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up to show your love and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to their channel for more mobile technology videos from me, just like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video.